Hello, and welcome to the Research Library video tutorials. This is part four of the General Help series, which was developed as a tutorial for common program operations. In part three, we took a look at field viewers, field and note editors, embedded links, and Bible verse recognition. We concluded with a brief overview of maintenance and data backup operations. In Part 4 of General Help, we will examine searching, retrieval, filtering, and reporting. Let's begin with the main search engine located in the upper right corner of the main form. Type Blood Profit in the search box. The criteria for this search is match all words, which means that only those verses that contain both words will show up in the search results. Click the search button. These two words are found together in only six verses of the KJV. A search criteria of match any word produces more than 800 matches. Judicious use of search criteria can significantly reduce the search results. Double click Matthew 23:30 to make it the active verse. Notice the search results form remains open in the background. The form will remain open until it is specifically closed. Therefore, you can step through and examine the individual verses or search for other words or phrases while the form is open. The search results form can also be moved to the side. Double-click Revelation 16.6 to make it the active verse. In this location, both the search results and the research library operations are easily accessible. Searches can be further or alternately refined by targeting individual books or groups of books. In this example, the exact phrase Kingdom of will be searched in the book group named Gospels. Click the search button to list the 88 verses in the Gospels that contain this phrase. Searches can be more or less refined by selecting one of the other book groups or an individual book. Double-click Matthew 6.33 to make it the active verse. The three selected verses have been stored in a search queue which will be discussed later. The search results can be filtered and printed. To filter, first right-click in the Scripture column to pop up a menu. Select Auto Filter, then highlight Text Filter to display the filter options. Select the Contains filter to pop up the Custom Filter search box. Type the words At Hand and click OK. The form now lists the five verses in the Gospels that contain both phrases Kingdom Of and At Hand. Notice the caption on the top border of the form has changed to include both the original search term, which is the primary filter, and the subfilter. These results can be further refined by additional subfiltering. Any of the eight available filters on the text filter menu can be used to subfilter. Continue the refinement by subfiltering with the word repent by using the contains filter as before. Each stage of searching and filtering can be temporarily saved by keeping the previewed results open in the active viewer. All viewers, except access, generate temporary files which are then displayed on the screen. The number of files that can be opened at one time is limited only by the available memory. Click the Print Preview button to display the filtered search results in the active viewer, which in this example is the XPS viewer. The report header indicates these verses were found in the King James Version, and it lists the three filters used to obtain the results in order. 
It also tells us that the search results of the first filter, the original search term Kingdom of, were generated using an exact match search criteria. The Print Preview button is available on all search results forms. Each search box holds a user-defined list of search terms. The search lists are loaded into memory each time the research library is opened. Successful search terms are added to the top of the search list. For example, the two successful search terms used in the previous examples are now found at the top of the main form search list. The search terms are temporarily added for the current session, but can be saved for retrieval in a future session. See the main form help file for more details on how to store and edit search lists. The General Help Tutorial Part 3 contains a brief summary on editing the search lists at about the 5 minute mark in the section titled Field Editor. The arrow buttons to the left of the search box are used to navigate through the search queue. Verses selected from search results, or verses found separately by the search engine, are temporarily added to the top of the queue. So far, we have added Matthew 23.30, Revelation 16.6, and Matthew 6.33 to the queue. Add one more verse to the queue by typing 1 Peter 2.9 in the search box and clicking the search button. There are now four verses in the search queue. Click the first button to move to the first or bottom verse in the queue, which is Matthew 23.30. Now click the Next button to move to Revelation 16.6. At this point, there are two remaining verses above this one in the queue, Matthew 6.33 and 1 Peter 2.9. If a new search verse was entered at this point, or another was selected from the search results, those two verses above the current one would be replaced in the queue by the new search verse. Therefore, to retain the queue intact, click the rightmost or top button prior to selecting another search verse. The alternate version can be searched in the same manner as the primary version by clicking the checkbox to the right of the search button to uncheck it. With Young's literal translation selected as the alternate version, the search results would produce this message with the search term Kingdom of. Young's literal translation tends to use the word reign in the New Testament instead of kingdom, and there are no matches anywhere in the New Testament for the phrase Kingdom of. However, a search in Young's Old Testament yields 37 results. The alternate version checkboxes have an automatic reset that can be set to on or off in system setup. Filtering is also available in other areas of the research library. For example, the library form contains four menu style filter operations for quick retrieval. The filter on the right is a general filter that can be used to filter for virtually any word or phrase. It includes a search list that can be edited to augment current research. Many forms, including lookup tables, can be filtered by right-clicking on a field and selecting from the supplied pop-up menu. For example, the Library Publications Lookup Table contains several filtering options and schemes. Right-clicking on the ID field pops up the following menu. The ID number column can be filtered for greater than, less than, or equal to the currently selected value, and the Between filter can list a range of values. The Author and Publisher columns have the Equal To and Not Equal To filters. Suppose you are seeking a publication but cannot recall the title. 
You only recall it was stored under the author unknown record. This may help. Selecting equals unknown author will generate a much more manageable list when searching for a forgotten title for a particular author, even if the author is unknown but recognized as such. The publication title contains the autofilter menu, as do nearly all text columns in the research library, including the ID, author, and publisher fields of this form. The autofilter menu contains the text filter options for eight filtering scenarios. The most useful option seems to be the Contains filter, which will filter for any word or phrase embedded anywhere in the column. Filtering for Septuagint generates a list of 15 publications that have the word in either the title or subtitle. These results can be subfiltered, for example, for Unknown Author or Masoretic. These filters are built into Microsoft Access and are linked to the Access Undo Filter function. To preserve the original filter for subsequent and multiple subfilterings, right click on any column and select Undo Filter. This restores the data results of the previous filter. This concludes Part 4 of General Help. In this part, we took a look at searching, retrieval, filtering, and reporting. The next Research Library video tutorial is titled Keyword Concordance. Thank you for watching.